people don't think it be like it is, but it do. Here are 35 facts that'll make people ask, why do you know that? Number 35. Male moths can vibrate their testicles at will to throw off bats. Oh, well I've been vibrating my testicles for years and it's just been throwing me off. Number 34. Australian box jellyfish have 64 anuses. Well, how many boxes they got? Huh? Yeah, yeah, see what I'm talking about? Number 33. The slitting of the front of the throat is much more improbable than most people realize. There is a bone blocking the spot that most people see in movies and TV shows. If, in fact, a movie wanted to be more realistic, they would instead need to show the sides of the throat being slit because of... <sighs> this is going to be demonetized, isn't it? Uh, whatever. Because of the main artery that sits in that spot. Look, this is this is all for educational purposes, all right? Uh, you, you don't need to go... You don't need to... You, as, forget it. Let's go in a more lighthearted direction with these. Number 32. Don't buy a rabbit already skinned and gutted. It could be a cat. They look similar when they're skinned, and you need to see the kidneys to tell. They're installed in a different configuration. Second, don't make risky meat purchases from a Sunday market trailer in a shady part of town. You know, some of these you figure would be a given, but you never know who you're dealing with, huh? You never know who's watching your YouTube video. Hey, like this video if you want more, comment if you want to settle a score, and subscribe if it's not a chore yeah made that all up on the fly that's why they pay me the the couple of bucks huh? yeah. should i get my own late night tv show where i could not be funny i went there you ever went to, or sometimes if uh like in the future they'll just find some of this media and dust it off and listen to it and go what the hell is the number 31 human poop has a distinct smell that's different from other commonly encountered poops Number 30. Most birds don't have intermittent reproductive organs, like a penis or a vagina. They share their genes through a hole called a cloaca. It leads to their inner organs. The act is called a cloacal kiss and is over very fast. Most duck species, however, do have intermittent organs, and their penis is shaped like a corkscrew and can sometimes be 50% longer than the length of the duck. This is because the vagina in the female duck is an elaborate maze of twists and turns, creating an evolutionary arms race between the sexes. The longest duck dick on record goes to the Argentine lake duck. Though he is a mere 15 inches long, his dangling corkscrew is up to 16 inches erect, 16 times the detail. Some tells me when these dude ducks are done with their ladies, it's gonna be duck duck loose. Number 29. The Nazis would bleed Soviet children dry just to provide blood transfusions for injured troops. It's messed up, but it happened probably still happening somewhere right now. Number 28. Ireland's rail gauge is slightly wider than the international standard, yet its tram system uses the international standard, just in case there weren't enough boring facts on the list yet. Number 27. Most of the dolphin population is the result of um, struggle snuggling. Yeah. Guilty as charged. Number 26. When the pilgrims first landed in America, they found these weird dirt mounds in a field. So, they dug them up and discovered that they were Native American graves. Oops. They returned everything, but then came back later to take the cooking pots and utensils that had been buried with the corpses. They apparently packed really light on the way over and didn't bring basic essentials which would be really useful. I don't know. Starting a colony? Things like that? I mean, it's not like these guys are going to use them anymore. It's just, it's just a little bit of grave robbing, right? 
Number 25. Babies don't have kneecaps. Where the hell do they come from then? Where the hell do they come from then? <laughs> oh man. Baby talk to me like that. Yeah, he ain't gonna have kneecaps when I'm done with him. Number 24. The human body can literally expel poop out of your mouth instead of your butt. What sucks is that it's true, and it's not just the South Park episode, and there are illnesses where, yeah, it does come up, and that's not funny because it's happening to someone right now. It's pretty messed up. All we can do is hope that we stay in good health. Our country is not situated in a way where if things go wrong with us, there is help for us, and um, either you are so wealthy that you know money's falling out of you the same way poop's going to be coming out of your mouth but or you know you're screwed number 23 all right instead of a penis male sharks have two claspers <laughs> they're made out of the same cartilage as their skeleton and also attached to their pelvis you want somebody's claspers girl look shark Oh my yeah. god. Number 22. Why is goose geese, but moose not meese? Well, I'm glad you asked. Goose has Germanic origins and thus follows the Germanic pluralization in the same manner as foot, two feet, tooth, two teeth, etc. However, the word moose was incorporated into the English language some 200 years later and has Native American origins. Sounds like a video game DLC. Native American origins. Number 21. Only about 1.4% of the uranium in the atom bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima actually fissioned, which means the bomb was only like 2% as strong as it could have been. You think about that now. And there's unaccounted for berms out over the place. A kablooey baby. Number 20. Male barnacles have the longest PP to body ratio. And their penis actually extends out of the barnacle and goes in search of female barnacles. Oh damn. So now you know why they're always saying that in Spongebob. Number 19. The longest poop on record is 26 feet long, and a typical ejaculation consists of only about one calorie. The more you know. Number 18. Vibrators were the fifth domestic electrical device invented. Why don't you hit your teachers with one of those? The information, not the phallic device. Jeez. Show them a little trick when you vibrate your balls. Number 17. Most cruise ships are equipped with a morgue to account for any passengers who die during the voyage. They gonna die during the voyage. They gonna die during the voyage. We got a morgue downstairs on the ship. You wanna come to this crypt? We keep them frosty double dip. Because they die in on the ship. Number 16. Many species of sea cucumbers have evolved to have teeth in their anus. You know, to ward off potential inhabitants. If only humans could establish that, I'd be signing up. Teeth butt the movie. Number 15. The most babies born to one woman is 69. Giggity. Number 14. Sometimes, when horses are bored, they'll slap their dick to their underside to masturbate. You try to get off just by slapping it against something. I mean... Well, let's not think too hard about that. Number 13. The largest walnut grove in the world is located outside the small village of Arslanbob in the mountainous southern region of Kyrgyzstan. Okay. Kyr Kyrgyz stand. Kyrgyz. Corgis? Oh. 
a local oral legend. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, boy. A local oral legend has it that the grove was planted by a migrant wise man nicknamed Arslan the Wanderer. DNA analysis of the trees has confirmed that they are not native to the region and the local population came to the area from a related batch of seeds about a thousand years ago. Yeah. Are you awake after that? <laughs> I'm gonna plant these seeds while you're sleeping. You know what I'm talking about? Splatter that DNA all over the place. Mm -hmm. Number 12. If you want to skin a human alive, you have to do it in a warm room, otherwise he'll die of the cold because his skin doesn't isolate him anymore. Duh. Number 11. Male bedbugs try to sexually penetrate everything they come in contact with. And where they, uh, where they like to hang out is in the name, if you know what I'm talking about. They get on your skin. <laughs> Number 10. Ferdinand I of Naples governed by oppression. He had zero compassion for his defeated enemies, and after falsely promising them amnesty, he had them moited instead. After their moitas, he would have them mummified and then added to his museum of mummies, dressed in their own clothes. If he thought anybody was plotting against him, he'd simply take them on a casual tour of the museum, which was totally morbid, but fairly effective. Number 9. It takes more than six standard concrete blocks to hold a human body underwater after death, and in the interest of remaining informative, your typical cinder block weighs around 30 to 35 pounds, so if you and around 200 pounds of cinder block and a body are too much for whatever boat or, you know, what you're taking out there, don't try it, man. You know, uh, hypothetically, of course, for the movie that you're making, as far as the writing is concerned, you want to make it believable for the people in your audience that are watching your movie to believe. So there's that. Moving on. Number eight. Erections that have lasted more than four hours are considered bad because of the buildup of deoxygenated blood that can cause the dick to become disfigured and later cause gangrene. Ugh. Chop it off. Chop it off, baby. Chop that pee pee off. Chop it off. Now you lady looking gravy. Need some mashed potatoes, baby. In the club. Dim the lights down low. Oh, get him in the bedroom and you can show him your ding-a-ling, swing-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling. -ling. Just kidding, you chopped it off. You a lady talking about. Yeah. A real lady. It is ma'am. Number seven. Siblings or parents and children that were separated from one another at birth or a very young age are often extremely sexually attracted to one another if they meet later in life. The phenomenon is called genetic attraction. Didn't think it was weird, but it is. <laughs> Number six. I mean, look these things up, guys. I'm not, you know, you think I'm playing with you, but you, whoa, here, what a world. Number six. Mammals from house cats to elephants take about the same time to urinate. What do you think about that? Number five. Open up the guts of a body before disposing of it in water so it doesn't inflate and is able to sink all the way to the bottom. You have to wonder, would it still take six cinder blocks though? And he was ditching her corpse in the lake. He opened up the comments in need of a break. He read what they'd written before he began. He looked at the body and said, change a plan. Number four. Since frogs have long tongues, they can't use it to push food down their throat like humans do. So, when they have food in their mouths, they close their eyes and push the food down their throats with their eyeballs. Eyeballs. Number 3. After Alois Alzheimer gave the very first ever speech describing the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease, no one in the audience asked him any questions or made any follow-up comments. They were all much too excited to hear the next guy give a speech about compulsive masturbation. It's true. You could say, 
Masturbation made everybody forget life's problems. But you know what, man? Sooner or later, everyone comes to their senses. Number two, if you're trying to destroy a body, right? A strong base would be much more successful than a strong acid. Acids are difficult to legally acquire due to them being ingredients and explosives. Caustic soda is much more useful and accessible as it's an ingredient in soaps. Once it's done, you'll have a liquid that you can place in some barrels and just bury somewhere. Even the bones will be broken down to an extremely brittle calcium deposit which you can easily crush and then filter off. You can then dispose of the liquid however you wish. It makes great fertilizer too. Um, or pigs. Uh, hypothetically guys, you know? For the movie you're writing. We're, we're writing a movie. Number one, Major League Baseball umpires are required to wear black underwears in case they split their pants during a game. Ow. Did you enjoy this list? Do you enjoy anything? Jeez. Coming to me like I'm going to solve your problems, man. Just give me a dollar. See you later. What do you offer me? It's too...